The reason I chose such a generic term to name my YouTube channel is so that I can talk about literally anything while wasting away in my basement. Cabin fever being defined as experiencing irritability, listlessness, and similar symptoms resulting from long confinement or isolation indoors during the winter. While it includes winter in the definition, I believe it can happen at any time now that we're all on the internet. In relation to the internet, I wanted to talk about dire straits, money for nothing. I would say, figuratively, it's the most relevant song ever written. It will stay relevant as long as people keep finding ways to make a living which don't involve manual labor or hard work. Since he's specifically talking about MTV and how you can get rich and famous by just playing guitar and being lucky enough to appear on MTV. When the first YouTubers started being able to support themselves just off of a view count and ad revenue, there was a lot of hate pointed at them because anyone could do it. Turns out anyone can try to do that, but the most important part is attracting an audience. That's something you're not going to be able to do unless you put your heart into building your channel. This means sitting down and making a video essentially every day. Be it a 15 minute unedited vlog, 10 minute analysis of a song where you break down all the music theory behind it, or an over edited hour long epic talking about shitty anime. Yeah, pretty much anyone can use video editing software everyone has a camera phone that's good enough and everyone has something to share but those people also have to put effort into making something they could also be putting this effort into working a real job or building meaningful relationships you know i hate working for other people and for the longest time I've been learning how to code and make games, I've actually released one as part of a two-week game jam, which had pretty good reception. And sure, I could release a new game every two weeks, but I poured pretty much every hour of my free time into making it good enough. Plus, I had a friend do all the artwork for it, and since he has his own shit to do, that's not something I can ask him every time. Yes, I've tried to get good enough when it comes to drawing my own art, and I've gotten a lot better at it than when I started, but that's still something I have to put effort into. Effort and time are practically the only differences between a dreamer and a star, someone who is making it off their dream. This relates to Money for Nothing because the song is written from the perspective of a hard-working man who moves heavy shit for a living. He's looking at the people he sees on TV and insulting them out of ignorance for taking the easy route. He specifically uses faggot to describe the guitar player on MTV. Other than its actual definition, the word is used to describe a pussy ass bitch, or someone who's too much of a pushover to do the hard work. However, you have to realize the person writing the song is someone on MTV who put in the work and went through the hardship necessary to get there, but who gets a lot of hate because it's the easy way through life. What I'm trying to say is that YouTubers are the new MTV star. Just how the TV stars were the new radio star, who were in turn the new great writer. 
This cycle will continue as long as technology keeps advancing. You know, when we all get plugged into the next layer of this matrix, there's going to be the Neo of the world who cheats food and new outfits, and they'll get a lot of hate for doing that until it becomes the norm and something else comes around. Which is sort of how all social norms work. Something will get hate until it either becomes the norm or is forgotten. So it's all a vicious circle and nothing really matters. Sure, we could change this vicious cycle, but humans inherently hate change. Especially because we're essentially deaf for 17 years out of our life. We're raised up on our parents' beliefs and are cultured by what we see on TV. But I guess what I watched on TV growing up is what kids see on YouTube or Twitter nowadays. Which is probably what bred the cult of outrage with all the anonymity and not having consequences for saying stupid shit, but that's for another video. So hearing something that conflicts with what we're taught once we enter the real world will typically be met with resistance. Another way to put it is that humans like patterns. So if the pattern you've been seeing your whole life suddenly changes, it's going to be wrong to you. And it will continue being wrong until you get enough evidence to accept it. But you're not going to accept something as evidence if there's nothing to back it up. And again, you're not going to believe what backs up the evidence unless something meshes with your current beliefs. And the vicious cycle continues. If there's anything to take away from this discussion, try and understand the work someone put into getting where they are in the world before hating them for it. This goes for someone with different beliefs too. Except the boys who inherited their fortune. Those guys ain't got none of my respect. Except that statement is inherently ignorant, but eh. Also, give Dire Straits Money for Nothing listen. You can find it on YouTube, I'm sure it's on Spotify, and I know it's on Google Music, which is included if you have YouTube Premium. Peace.